Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be yet another perfume haul. I kind of went a bit overboard this month. I got how many perfumes? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 perfumes this month. You guys, it's kind of crazy. Uh, I already made first impressions videos on 3 of them. But I'm going to show them to you anyway. Again, in this video. And again, if you're new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, it's the same username as here, Emilio. Go follow me there if you want to. I post perfume pictures and stuff like that. So yeah, let's start with the first perfume I got. It's Georgia Beverly Hills. And as I said, I already posted a first impressions video on this one. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. This is the new formulation made in Spain. It's very weak, it doesn't last at all, but it's still, it's a very beautiful perfume. I still need to get a vintage version or made in Spain, made in U, I mean, not made in Spain, made in France or made in the USA version. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'm gonna give this one to my mom, we'll see. So this is the first one. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, it's going to be Vintage perfumes, how many are vintage here? One, two, three, four, four vintage perfumes and one, two, three, four, five, four, five non-vintage perfumes. So this is a non-vintage. Let's start, uh, what is the next one? The next one is this one here. Secret Obsession by Calvin Klein. I already posted a first impressions video on this one. Beautiful bottle, you guys. My hands are very dry and I have to put hand cream all the time, so it's sorry for the fingerprints, but what can we do about it? This is a really nice fragrance, you guys, but I don't know. It's not really my favorite. It's like this plum, baked good, with a little bit of rum in there, kind of creamy white florals and stuff like that. It's really nice, but I don't know, I'm not crazy for it. But the bottle again is really beautiful. Secret Obsession. The next one. Oh, this one, you guys, I got it yesterday. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I've smelled it before. And yeah, I liked it the first time I smelled it. But I smelled it again yesterday. And I realized how much I love this one. It's Yop. Fam, have you guys smelled this one? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It came out in 1987, I believe. The bottle is nothing special, but why is this inside? <laughs> so ghetto. Anyways, this is stunning, you guys. It's aldehydic white florals with sandalwood, uh, a lot of civet in here, dirty musk. This is definitely uh, an inspiration for Dolce Gabbana, Red Cap Signature, definitely inspired by this one, but it changes a lot in the dry down. Uh, it's in the same lane as uh, Frederic Mal. what is it called? Uh, what is the name of that, of that fragrance? Muscravageur, that one, and Kiel's Original Mask, also similar to that one. Oh my god, this is beautiful, stunning perfume, cheapy, it's just so, so beautiful. And no one is talking about this one, you guys. Please do give it a try, it's so, so, so stunning. I'm in love with it, honestly. Yop has some really great underrated perfumes, like Le, Le Bain, for example, that one is also really beautiful, I need to get that one too. So, this one, Yop Femme. The next fragrance I got arrived yesterday and I wasn't home when they delivered the package. The Hael, they left the package at the entry of our apartment and we live on a busy street, you guys. There's people walking past by cars, everything. I'm so glad no one took it, but why would they do that? Like they left it at, at the door, like anyways. This is Kenzo Jungle. I just love this fragrance so much, you guys.
this is what the bottle looks like it's so heavy you guys the quality of this bottle is amazing it's so heavy the cap is pure metal it's so heavy just imagine dropping this on your foot you're gonna hurt yourself really bad oh my god i love this one it's a spice bomb there is so much clove in the opening cumin cardamom there's vanilla amber there's also this whiff of uh creamy white florals maybe ylang ylang some gardenia there's patchouli amber i just took the cap off and i can smell it all the way from there <laughs> it's so strong it's stunning really really beautiful perfume there's also cinnamon in there it's sweet very spicy so many spices in this one i just love it so so much kenzo jungle elephant so what is the next fragrance i got okay so this is the last non-vintage perfume i found it on ebay for i mean it wasn't really a good deal but i don't really have the budget to get a new bottle from the boutique from the beauty boutique site and i really love this fragrance it's 1957 by chanel uh, it was in, in its original box i don't know where the box is but you guys, I love 1957 a lot. I remember smelling it when it first came out last year. Uh, I wasn't really a big fan when I first smelled it. It was this really dirty honey musk with white florals. But I fell in love with it. I really did. This is actually one of my favorite perfumes from the Les Exclusives line. And I'm planning on making a video on this one. So I'm not going to say too much about it, but 1957 Eau de Parfum by Chanel, Les Exclusives, gorgeous, gorgeous perfume. So you guys, the next four perfumes are vintage and two of them are discontinued. So let me show you what I got. Okay, so now let me show you the vintage perfumes I found. I already posted the first impressions video of this one. It's a vintage bottle of Coco, the pure perfume. This one is from 1994. Stunning, gorgeous. I'm gonna post links to all the first impressions videos if you want to watch them in the description box. Stunning, gorgeous perfume, what can I say? So the next one I got is also from Chanel. I believe it's either from like late 70s to early 80s. This is pre batch code Chanel. Uh, I found it for a steal, you guys. It was like 30 euros for the 100 ml. It's pre batch coat vintage number five, auditory lead. It's just gorgeous. Uh, I have to say, Chanel has preserved their formulations really well compared to other brands who have completely ruined some of their perfumes. This is very similar to the current formulation of number five, auditory lead. But it's deeper, it's stronger, you can tell the quality of the ingredients, it's very different, but it smells very close to the current to toilet. It's just stunning, you guys. And yeah, it's definitely more animalic than modern to toilet. There is definitely more civet in this one. But it's not skanky whatsoever, I think it's beautiful, so happy I found this one. The next one I'm going to show you, the next two, the last ones, both of them have been discontinued, sadly. Uh, let's start with this one. It's by Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's Fragile Eau de Parfum. Uh, look at the bottle, you guys. I think it's kind of ugly, actually. <laughs> I'm not really a big fan. There is glitter inside, but it sprays really well. But you have to actually use both hands if you want to spray it properly. I don't know. I was expecting this huge tuberose, solid floor, like very strong. But no, not really. It's this mentholated uh, gardenia, white floral, orange blossom, something, something. Mentholated with ginger. There's a lot of cinnamon in there, vanilla. It's also woodsy. It's like a Christmassy white floral. <laughs> It sounds as if I don't really like it, but I do actually, I do like it. I, I think it smells really beautiful, but honestly, 
if this wasn't discontinued and it's it was still available i, I was probably never going to get it <laughs> yeah i think it's good fragile by jean paul gautier de parfum and now the last perfume i got is probably my favorite one the favorite out of everything i got this month it's also been discontinued it's from the 90s it's a bombastic crazy white floral fragrance <laughs> blonde by versace dior de toilette you guys oh my god let me take it out of the box oh let me show you the bags first this is what it looks like typical 90s versace beautiful beautiful packaging and this is the bottle you guys the 50 ml it was full but i was using it a lot lately this is what it looks like the medusa oh my god blonde let me smell it oh my god i'm obsessed with this one i'm kind of sad i fell in love with it because i'm probably not going to be able to find uh, an affordable <laughs> order to let like a whole bottle i used to have a lot of minutes of this one when i was younger uh oh my god this is like fraca on steroids the opening is disgusting it smells like pickle juice with civet but then it turns into this gorgeous screechy tuberose with civet oh my god i actually love this one more than i love fraca it's also similar to madonna's truther there actually truther there is similar to this one but it's not as sweet and creamy as truther there i just adore this one you guys it's so strong it's crazy it's insane this perfume i, I can honestly see why this got discontinued because it's way too strong and crazy and weird for a mainstream release but i love it so much i hope i will be able to find another bottle of this one for a good price i only pay like 30 euros for this one and people usually want like 200 100 euros oh god but anyways stunning perfume this is something i can see myself wearing every day it's one of those perfumes i just adore it so much yeah this is my favorite purchase of the month definitely so happy with this one so that's it for this video you guys these are all the perfumes i got and yeah let me know what you think of them do you like any of them have you tried them let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching you guys thank you for all your positive comments i got some new subscribers lately thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for liking and commenting a lot of you guys are very positive very encouraging and i really appreciate it thank you for your positivity and again thank you so much for watching Go ahead and subscribe if you're new to this channel. You can also find me on Instagram again, Emilio. Go follow me there. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And...